Welcome back to the show. It is good to have your company on this Anzac Day, wherever you are across this great country of ours. Well, part of Anzac Day is recognising the men and women who represent Australia in all areas of the Defence Force. And our next guests have pretty unique jobs. They're divers for the Navy undertaking unique and complex missions underwater, battling challenging conditions and sometimes enemies. Let's bring in naval seaman Jacob Huff and veteran clearance diver Lieutenant Commander David Hughes. Thank you both so much for your time. Really good for you yeah, to join thank us. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank now, Jacob, I just want to start with you. Tell me exactly what your role entails. Uh, essentially, I'm an able seaman in uh, clearance diving team one. So, in my rank, basically, you know, eight nine times out of ten, if someone's getting in the water, it's going to be me. Um, so, we do a wide variety of diving styles. Um, it can be ranged from salvage diving. Uh, where you're doing you know, maintenance and ship repair, things like that, or lifting heavy objects, uh, right through to mine countermeasures, so training to search and destroy sea mines. Why would you want to do it? Because the circumstances mm. and the environment can be just awful and tremendously dangerous. Yeah, I think I've always wanted to challenge myself um, in one way, shape or form, whether it was through sport, you know, I was quite heavily involved in surf life saving, so I had that water background. Um, and I thought, how can I challenge myself in a career in the water? And here I am. Mm. Uh, let, uh, le uh, Lieutenant, I keep on confusing. Uh, <laughs> not every day, but you know, Lieutenant in the Army and Lieutenant, yeah. for those who don't know, um, in, in the Navy. Navy. Um, you, you're a veteran of the Gulf War. Mm. Yeah. Um, how have things changed over the years between when you were that age and, and where you are now? Well, I guess it's the, um, like Jacob, I joined at 17, so it's the, um, and, uh, I've spent a life in the service, so since we first started, you know, diving was pretty simple. It's the, uh, predominantly, we were created just to look at the, get rid of the old World War II mines. Over the years, it's sort of, uh, it's evolved and we've splintered into a thousand different sort of uh, roles. And I guess my role in the, uh, sorry, in the Kuwait War uh, was to, on a ship, and then my role in the uh, Iraq War was seconded to the US Army. So we worked with uh, explosive ordnance disposal, mm. which wasn't one of the roles that we started off with. So I guess, yeah, it just continues to evolve even today. Given how different those two roles were, I mean, you've got to almost learn on the, on the spot, right? The training's just constant. And that's one of the problems, I guess, that people find, like young Jake here. <coughs> At the moment, the roles are so big. It's um, and uh, so complex, so your entire day is basically either training or doing yeah. operations, yeah. so it's, uh, there's no respite for any of them. Lieutenant Commander, also I would imagine there's been significant changes um, just in the way you go about from a technology point of view mm. um, from day to day. Um, yeah. But at the end of the day, do you, do you sit in the mess and go, it was harder when you were younger? <laughs> you, you know, Jacob would say it was harder. It's the, uh, in his day than the guy that's finished the day. You know, at the end of the day, you know, it, it's, it's tough. It yeah. uh, always is. I was saying earlier, it's about a 50-week process. Mm. Uh, you have good Too days, long. bad days. And, um, you know, the toughest part is actually dealing with the, the mind and the environment yeah. at the time. So, uh, but no, I'm sure that uh, in another 10 years' time, they'll be telling me it was the toughest course I've done. <laughs> well. And, Jacob, you're obviously quite new to, to this yourself in this role. Mm -hmm. Was it, what was it like, the recruitment process? Because we know that, obviously, this Defence Force really wants to drive people to this mm. industry. Yeah, absolutely. Well, originally, I always wanted to be a diver. At the time, though, it was about 2014. They weren't accepting entries. It was full. However, now we are accepting entries. Um, essentially, I had to do a lateral transfer. So, held my same rank, but transferred from my previous job as basically a sonar operator mm -hmm. on ships in order to go into a uh, clearance diver role. And from there, it's basically a psychological evaluation, make sure you're the right fit for the role. Mm. Uh, and then from there, you also have a, it's called a clearance diver aptitude assessment, where essentially you'll be pushed physically and mentally in terms of your teamwork, leadership skills, potential, things like that. And if you pass that, then you're allowed to Commence clearance mm. diver course, which goes for approximately Jeez, a year. I'd have absolutely no chance. You never know. Why are you laughing? I wouldn't either, I don't think. <laughs> um, <laughs> Lieutenant Commander, I mean, you also have to be, you battle these elements, um, and mm. this is no finding Nemo. Uh, the sea is yeah. a dangerous yeah. place. Have um, you had any of those kind of encounters over the years, as well as the regulation yeah. Navy stuff? Yeah, look, uh, it's. I often say, I mean, the role that I'm doing at the moment, I'm setting up what they call this Navy Diving Safety Authority, or we're working with it. Uh, and I'll often say the greatest danger and the greatest risk to the diver is uh, not what to do underwater, it's putting the head underwater. It's the, um, 
And, you know, for me, I'm sure there's been times that at sea I've looked back over it and uh, I think sometimes why do I do it? But, mm. uh, but you know, it's, it's good fun. It's uh, oddly enough. Mm. It's, uh, <laughs> it's challenging work, but I think anything that comes with a great deal of challenge has a great deal of satisfaction as yeah. well. So, and, uh, you know, I look forward to seeing Jacob standing here another 30 years mm. as well. What, uh, what does it mean for you today? For me, it's the... Uh, I guess there's two parts. There's one is it's a great day to be able to see people understand the sacrifices that people have done mm. and given in the past. From a personal perspective, <coughs> sorry, it's the um, it's a time for me to reflect on um, the good sacrifice that I've seen people give over the time. And when we talk about sacrifice, by the way, <coughs> we talk about um, these are young people, 20, 30 predominantly, yeah. and. Um, They've not only sacrificed their lives, but they've sacrificed their bodies. Mm -hmm. And the families have sacrificed their whole life in service as well. So it's just a great day of reflection. Good on yeah. you guys. Hey there, Today fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? <laughs> Carl. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?